Okay, carrying on with 6.7, convertible kinetic energy. So in the previous video we saw, what did we see? We saw that the system kinetic energy in the earth reference frame is equal to what? Um, the center of mass kinetic energy plus the kinetic energy of the system in the zero momentum reference frame, which is simply uh, the center of mass kinetic energy which is non-convertible we saw that, go look at the previous one and we saw that this kinetic energy is convertible what do we mean by convertible, non-convertible it means that this kinetic energy cannot be converted into internal energy in an isolated system okay and this kinetic energy can be converted into internal energy in an isolated system. So, um, I'm not going to go into the derivation of this. You can go and have a look at that. The second term for a two-object system, the second term, the convertible kinetic... Okay, first of all, how, w how would you solve this convertible kinetic energy if, you, if, if there was a question? Well, the first principles way is you would just say what is my system kinetic energy and then you would subtract the kinetic energy of the center of mass and then you would get your convertible kinetic energy and so what does this mean this means if I've got say two objects in my system interacting I would say half m a v a squared plus half m b VB squared or half M1 V1 you get the idea minus half M of the system velocity of the center of mass squared equals my <coughs> convertible kinetic energy so all I'm saying is I calculate the kinetic energy of my system I subtract the kinetic energy of the center of mass and I can calculate the convertible kinetic energy. So this this is a kind of a way that I don't want to tell you which way to do it, but this is more intuitive to me. But if you rearrange this, if you solve for this guy, you end up with this also this equation. All right. So where does this equation 638 come from? It comes from rearranging this, solving for this, and getting a single equation like this, which is half m1 m2 we multiply the two inertias of a two object system you multiply them and you divide by their sum okay close brackets and then you've got a v squared here but it's a v squared of the relative velocity between the two objects one and two okay so you can see it's got this kind of form of a half mv squared it still looks something like that but for a two object system we have this thing called uh, mu this is called your reduced mass or your reduced inertia reduced inertia and this v is the relative velocity between your two objects so the convertible energy ends up looking like this half mu v square v12 squared for a two object system Okay, so note if, if there's a question, how do you calculate the convertible energy? You can either use this, if you've got the two inertias and the relative velocity, you can immediately calculate it, or you can calculate it kind of even more from first principles. You calculate the, the energy in the system um, like this, and you subtract the kinetic energy for the center of mass. <coughs> okay, in the next video we'll do 6.8, which will illustrate the, this, um, th these ideas. Okay, cheers.